So, this will act as a test video of sorts and a general scope for the channel of what I would like to do. Um, it's also going to be some practice, some setup, figuring out is this light too much? Where will I go to get the right light? Um, workbench needs to be cleaned up. There's so much sawdust everywhere. What the heck? Oh, there's super glue. Sorry, distractions. Um, gosh, that pisses me off. Anyways, um, so basic overview of the channel and what I'd like to obtain with the channel. Primary goal is going to be sort of an instructional, instructional, instruction based channel. Um, and I want to develop a channel where people can make what I'm making with very little tools. Um, so, like, I got the lathe, I've got the power saw, and all that. But are the items I make capable to be made with something like a handsaw or basic clamps? Um, like this piece, I could probably make this with a handsaw. Um, it'd be a pain in the butt, but handsaw and some basic clamps, I could make this. Um, now, the turning it on the lathe, whole nother story. But that's going to be kind of the base concept of this. Is going to be, here's what you can do with small tools. Here's what you can do with the big tools. Um, I also would like to, for every um, video I put up, if I use something bigger than handsaw or basic tools that a shop should have. Um, I need to stop picking. Uh, this is all part of audio quality and tests. And But anyways, if I use a tool that is out of the common for a shop, i.e. a lathe, a table saw, or something like that, then I want to notate where I got mine from, how much mine is, um, and address some of those things. Um, it won't 100% be how to make it with nothing. Um, obviously, I'm going to use bigger tools. I'm going to use the lathe. I'm going to use the table saw and all that. But I would like to be able to say, hey, if you want to make this at home, here's the starter steps. Um, drill bit. You need to drill out the center. Here's how you make this chuck. Um, for things like this, I want to be able to make this, but show them how I made this and how they can make this and what this is used for and all, all that fun stuff. So that is the basic outline for the channel of what I would like to achieve. Uh, as for the created material, uh, I think I'm going to start with something I know. I'm going to start with rings, probably resin based rings, and go from there. I would like to make a whole bunch of different things. I would like to make the proto putty, do some tests with that, see how well it works. Um, how viable it is. Um, let's see, what else? So, we're going to do a lot of resin based rings. I want to do a resin table eventually. I want to just go over some basic building stuff. Um, I do need to put together a list of projects I can, I can work on. Um, my goal is 52 projects, um, that will equate to one video a week. Um, and if I have 52 ideas, I can make 52 videos. 
Anyways, let's see, what else do I need to cover? I want to have a base outline of the script um, when I make these videos. Um, however, see this height is weird. If I sit all the way up, I come off camera. But if I slouch down, it kills my back. Um, tripod is most likely on the agenda for things to get. Uh, anyways, so where was I? Um, I would like to be able to produce 52 videos and that'll be a full year. There is a lot of requirements and criteria that it will take and this is going to be an ongoing endeavor and it will probably take several years before I can even make any sort of money off of it. Until then, might invest in a few little things here and there, but um, it's probably going to be pretty low budget, pretty cheap. Again, that is the idea of this video, or of these videos though, is how to make something on the cheap. Um, for those who don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to go spend on equipment. Um, anyways, uh, I'm probably going to wrap this up. It's getting a little long. So that's that. Um, here's the space.